Hi, I'm Mike Biggs and welcome to Ask Mike, which is a question and answer session which is designed to help you as a gardener uh, make your gardening easier, more successful and a lot more fun. And as usual, this is a no hype zone. Today's question comes from Alex from Denver in Colorado and he says, I'm new to hydroponics, can you tell me what the best system is? This is a very difficult question to answer because there are very many systems out there with a lot of merit. However, I will try and narrow it down for you a little. Two basic types of system you will come across out there are recirculating and run to waste. Now, a recirculating system is where the nutrient solution is pumped out of the reservoir, past the plant's roots, back into the reservoir and is reused over and over again. Now you can have either a recirculating system without a medium or with a medium. Without a medium, an example would be NFT or aeroponics and with a medium might be rock wool expanded clay or perlite. A run to waste system on the other hand pumps the nutrient solution from the reservoir past the plant's roots out of the bottom of the pot and it runs away and is discarded and never reused. There's normally a medium which may be inert such as expanded clay or even rock wool or it may be organic such as cocoa coir or potting mix. There are numerous examples of both types of systems on the market and generally the manufacturers of these systems do a pretty good job. The success of any of these systems is down to the management of it and it's a good idea to get a basic understanding of hydroponics and what these systems are supposed to do before you start growing. However, you've asked me the question so I'll give you my answer. I personally would recommend any beginner to start with a run to waste system using cocoa coir as a medium. The advantages of a run to waste system are you don't have to worry about the composition of the nutrient solution because you're delivering fresh nutrient solution to the plant roots at every watering. Also a run to waste system, the pH is much more stable and is easier to control than in a recirculating system. And the main advantage of using cocoa coir is that it has a high water holding capacity and therefore if you have pump or power failure you don't lose your plants after a few hours without water. Another advantage of cocoa coir is it's easily disposed of in the garden after use. If you go to our website and go to the how to button you'll be able to download a basic guide on both recirculating and run to waste systems. Well thanks for joining us. If you have any indoor gardening questions just email. This is Mike signing off.